Hi, and welcome to Three Questions with my buddy Colby Duty with us. Kind of talk a little bit about the coronavirus and the impact on your taxes. Hey, Colby, welcome to the show. Hello, thanks for, uh, thanks for having me. So, Colby, how's this going to impact our tax returns? I've been seeing some stuff in the news. What's the latest? Uh, yeah, so within the past couple of days, uh, Steve Muchen um, and the IRS have decided to allow taxpayers um, specific taxpayers, um, a timeline extension uh, to pay your tax uh, bill if you do owe a tax. Normally, you would have to pay that tax on April 15th, um, assuming the 15th falls on a, um, during the week and not on the weekend or a holiday. Uh, so you normally would typically have to pay by April 15th if you owe tax. With the impact of the coronavirus, they're allowing you 90 days to pay any tax due um, again, this is for specific individuals and corporations. Um, I'm not going to discuss, I don't have enough time to discuss uh, what those requirements are, uh, but a majority of people um, will qualify for this provision. Um, so they'll have until July 15th uh, to pay the tax instead of April 15th this year. Well, that's going to make a big difference for a lot of um, people who maybe have their business shut down right now. And honestly worried about cash flow if you have no money coming in. So it can make a, a real big difference, right? Right. So that was one of the main factors uh, into providing this, um, you know, this extension to individuals and businesses, uh, especially for businesses. They typically would make, um, you know, what they've earned from January to April, uh, they would, that would be essentially how they would make their, their tax payments. Uh, but because business is slow, um, and individuals, unfortunately, uh, are not working. Uh, a majority of them are not working or they're working part time. Uh, the IRS decided it was in the best interest of really the overall economy uh, to make that extension or, or to allow people to pay uh, in July instead of April. Um, with that said, Mass DOR typically takes the same uh, stance uh, anytime the IRS makes a decision like this. However, there are some assumptions that we have to assume that neither the IRS or the state DOR has clarified. Uh, and that's whether or not you have to actually file the tax return on April 15th uh, to pay in July, or if you're allowed to go on extension and be eligible for the same provisions. Uh, that has yet to be determined. I, I believe the Mass DOR is gonna issue a statement tomorrow on that. And the IRS, uh, I'm going to tell you a lot of people are pounding on their door for an answer because the clock's ticking and uh, people that don't use a CPA, they, they need to know the answer as well. Uh, so this has several ramifications all around, uh, not just for CPAs that do tax returns, but for people that do them on their own as well. But one of the other things I think is going to come out of this is people are going to have to take a hot look at their business. You know, especially at expenses, revenue projections. I know I've been on the phone with a lot of clients who are scared. They're like, you know, are people going to continue to use my service? Are they going to, you know, try to take it in-house? You know, how can I save money? I'm going to have to look at every vendor I'm using and saying, well, you know, do I really need to do that? You must be anticipating that with your clients. Yeah, so I've actually uh, have already received a couple of calls from clients who are, who are very nervous. Um, one client based out of New Hampshire said, I have no income coming in right now. And typically, most states have an unemployment provision where if you own a business, you're not necessarily eligible for unemployment. But what I'm telling clients is to apply for it anyway, because we are in a uh, a circumstance that I have not seen since, uh, you know, being a tax preparer. And I'm telling them to apply anyway, because you never know uh, what the state's going to allow to go through right now. And honestly, it's one of those things where apply for it now and get slapped on the hand later. Uh, your financial needs are really the number one priority. Now, some other things that I've uh, told people to look at is if you are eligible and the Federal government has declared your county uh, a national disaster area because of the coronavirus. You may be eligible for an SBA loan at 3% interest, which is a phenomenal rate, uh, really for any loan for that matter. And that's one option. Uh, the other option is I see a lot of states, uh, they're calling utility companies and say, do not collect a utility payment 
from these businesses, wow. um, which is really good news to hear because that's going to help the business cash flow. Uh, if they have less customers, if they are not servicing any customers at all, um, this is very important in the long run. Um, now, whether or not you know the government will eventually pick up that tab and ultimately the taxpayers, that's yet to be seen. Uh, but there are some options for businesses uh, and individuals. So, it, you know, you have to do a lot of research. And if you're unsure, uh, you can always give someone like me a call and I can look into that for you. Uh, but, you know, it's not, it's not the end of the world just yet uh, for businesses. So, Colby, how can people reach out to you? How can they learn more? Sure. So my office is located in Andover, Massachusetts. Um, I am actually at the office today. Uh, we've decided because we are less, uh, we have less than 10 people in the office that we are going to stay open. Um, if things change, obviously we would have to work from home. Uh, but I, uh, you can reach me at the office at 978-984-5425. Um, or you can email me at c-d-o-o-d-y at l-m-f-s-g.com. Colby, really appreciate you taking a few minutes to jump on the show with us. And as always, thanks for being my friend. Yes, thank you for having me.